guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another speed build. Today, we are making a bunch of tiny homes, <laughs> and by a bunch, I mean three. I got the suggestion a couple of weeks ago to do some solid color tiny homes. This was suggested by Samantha B, and suggested that I do some solid, basically a solid color build challenge, but three of them, and tiny homes all on the same lot. I took that idea, I didn't do the solid color build challenge though, I based these off of certain colors, but I was allowed to use things that were into those colors in the builds, and I thought that was really fun, so I have three different homes on this lot that are all very similar, and they have like kitchen areas and bathroom and bedroom areas all in the same space, but the living rooms and bedrooms and stuff are all decorated differently, and the colors I went with were orange, red and blue and I thought it was really really fun to go ahead and do that so thank you so much for that suggestion please if you ever have any suggestions of builds you like to see please leave those in the comments because sometimes it just really inspires me and I'm like oh my god that sounds like so much fun and that's kind of what happened with this one I just finally am getting around to it and I'm really excited to share this one with you guys because I had a lot of fun with this one but this is basically the shape of what all of the houses are gonna look like to the orange one first and then you'll see me duplicating it over and creating the red and blue versions there are parts of it that are exactly the same and in color swatches that I did switch or keep the same on each one and I think it's so cute I thought the red was a really fun color I don't actually use red very often for builds on exteriors or interiors so it's kind of refreshing to go ahead and do that and usually I think it's a little bit too stark of a color for especially interiors of houses so I tend to stay away from it but I think for this house it looks so good and I think it might be my favorite of the three is the red interior and you'll see that when we get to it but uh we start off with the orange one and there ends up also being another building out back which we will be doing shortly that is a laundry room which is very white I didn't want like too much of any particular color in there because there's so much color here and I thought it was nice to just kind of have more structure and have, um, you know, <laughs> the three colors and then like the absence of color where you're going and washing your clothes. For some reason, it made sense in my mind when I was building this. So I hope you guys do like that. Uh, but we're just fencing off the area now and making these little sidewalks out to the back. There also ends up being a pool in the back uh, because, I mean, there's ideally a few families living on this lot and of course that's not really supported in the sims 4 but you can still play that way it's just they'd all be in the same household you can just kind of have them live in which house they want to uh, but each of these houses only has a single bed in them of course they all have a couch as well so technically it should be one sim that should live in each house but you could do two if you really 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 wanted to it's probably not the greatest idea or people could sleep on benches in the laundry room as well uh, but probably comfortably only three people on this lot one per house um, but of course play however you'd like to I think it's kind of fun to sometimes make your sims suffer a little bit we all enjoy that if we play the sims or maybe you don't but <laughs> there's always that little voice inside you when you're playing the sims it's just like maybe I should put them in a pool and you know close it in with a wall like in a room or set off fireworks inside and things like that and then you say that in front of people that don't play the sims and they think you're insane and um <laughs> that didn't just happen to me last week and <laughs> of course not um <laughs> Um, because one of my coworkers knows I play Sims and they were like, Hey Tanya, have you ever killed your Sims? And yeah, that conversation went well. Uh but anyway, we're about to build the laundry room back here. I think this lot is really cute and structured. I feel like it feels realistic to what a small apartment place would be like, I think. Where you have a or I guess like a trailer park, like three trailers. Which I want to do some more trailer homes in the future as well because I feel like that fits a similar theme to the tiny homes I've been doing. And these are tiny homes, of course. But I really, really enjoy compact homes like that. So maybe I'll do some of those in the future as well. I just have so many ideas that I can't get them all done. And it's really good. It feels amazing to be so inspired lately. And a lot of that has to do with you guys. Thank you so much for all of your feedback and comments. And it just means so much to me. <laughs> and it's it's making me feel really inspired. And I'm having so much fun creating content and building. I'm, I mean, I'm always enjoying building. But even more so lately. So thank you guys so much for that. But anyway, as you can see, this room is incredibly white. There's like no color in here except for some plants. 
and I really like how it turned out. It's very simple and clean and I think this is partially me just not liking <laughs> the color of my current laundry room because you can tell it used to be like a very faint blue, like very, you know, peaceful, clean laundry room, felt good. And they like painted it over with eggshell white. So it's not white. It's like weird yellowy white and it looks really tacky and I wanted something really clean and just... I don't know, sterile <laughs> for this laundry room. I wanted it to feel like this is a place you're actually getting your clothes cleaned, unlike laundry rooms I've seen in real life. So uh, I was enjoying doing that. And we're just adding some loungers by the pool and some more landscaping. I think I kept most of everything in in this build. Uh, and we're just doing some floor planning now. That's going to be the little bathroom. The bathrooms in this these houses do not have sinks in them because that's something I often have to take out when I'm doing tiny homes. So there's the sink in the kitchen. So, you know, not the most cleanly, but it's realistic for some of these tiny homes, at least because we don't have really small things in the Sims. Like you could get like much smaller everything in an actual tiny home in real life. We don't really have half tile items, although I would love it if they ever made half tile items but I don't think they're going to do that for functional items because we have like clutter items that are like half or quarter of a tile, but I don't think we're ever going to get like a sink that's half a tile. So, oh well on that. But we used these gorgeous countertops from Parenthood in here. I thought they looked really nice and they were in that orangey color and I really like that. Also, these doors that I used come in the three colors of these houses, which I didn't plan on at all. It just worked out that way and I really like that. And all of the homes also have an accent color of black. It just kind of worked out that way. And, and I really, really like it. Instead of it just being like orange and white, red and white, blue and white. It's it's all of them plus black. And I think that's just partially me loving having black and gray interiors. So I had to, you know, include that in there somewhere. Because these are very colorful builds. So just adding some darker colors, I think balanced it out a little bit and made it a little less over the top. <laughs> but they are incredibly color colorful and like color coordinated so if you don't like that kind of thing I'm sorry this might not be the best build for you but I'll have some other builds coming out uh we have another build coming tomorrow that isn't as color coordinated it, it it's got a little bit of color coordination because I tend to like to match things a little bit but we're adding a bookcase in here I think this kitchen and living space comes out pretty cute Obviously, it's the first one I did, so I was like, okay, this is a floor plan here. But they all actually have very different living space, I guess. Like, the living room, the way I organize the furniture is different. Because that made sense to me because the counters and stuff would all be there already. And they all have different counters, but the placement is the same in all of them. But the furniture they would bring be bringing in is the bedroom and the living room stuff. So that's all organized a little bit differently. And we should be moving on to the red one now, which is my personal favorite of all of them. I use these red countertops, which I have never used before in that color, I don't think. And they are very vibrant red. Uh, so that was a little different for me, but it was interesting to use. And then I end up eventually after fun curtains putting down the like sectional sofa that we got from my first pet stuff and I love how it looks in here it took me forever to figure out the orientation I wanted for it but we figured it out in the end just like this and it's so cute I love the layout in here there's so much seating there obviously somebody can nap there as well this carpet that came with a uh, base game fit perfectly I almost said pit perfectly uh fit perfectly <laughs> in this home as well I just really like how that came together and then these two paintings. It was funny because when I showed my boyfriend this house, the first thing he said was, I like this one the best. And oh, isn't that your painting on the wall, the one of Bob Pancakes? Because I actually got that print for Christmas. So that's going to be going up in my office next month when I move and I'm really excited about it. Uh, so that was kind of funny. Um, but we're just adding a little bit more clutter around the place and lots of accents of black and red in here. I really like how it came out. Uh, I feel like this was a nice casual way to do it because I feel like I love this color scheme, but it's a little over the top for me normally. And I usually only use red and black when I'm doing like vampire builds. So it was really refreshing to just do this in a tiny house and it looks so good. This is the one I would want to live in. So let me know actually out of the three here, which one you, you like the best. 
do you prefer the orange, the red, or the blue? I know we haven't gotten to the blue yet, but let me know after you've seen all three. Very curious to see which style everyone goes for. I also imagine the person that lives in the red one has a dog, so I supplied some dog stuff as well. I thought about adding some dog agility stuff out back, but we, we didn't end up adding that. We also used this little bed in here that came with Parenthood that has this beautiful red and black swatch. I think this might be my least favorite bedroom of the three though, but I do love the living space in this room or in this tiny home, but this fit the color scheme so well I had to use it. And we also added that clock over there and a little black rug. It's fairly simple in here. We have very small rooms. It's like a three by two square or rectangle. So there's not a whole lot of room to play around in these bedrooms. So there's only so much you could do, but I thought it was nice to have it in its own separate space instead of having it open like I normally do. I thought that the layout of these worked pretty well and I was really happy with it. But we're just adding some more clutter in this bathroom. Pretty much just add like a towel in each one. It's it's a two by two square. There's not a whole lot you could fit. And I know I could probably have squeezed some like sinks into those bathrooms if I really wanted to play test it. But I didn't want it to be finicky if you guys ever moved anything. So I decided not to. So we just have the one in the kitchen. But it's right out there. So it's not too far away. But we used these base game blue cabinets in the blue tiny house. And this is another swatch. I don't know if I've ever used. There's so many swatches on the base game uh, cabinets and countertops that like a lot of them I just haven't used. I thought about using this divider somewhere in the house as well, but I didn't end up using it in the end. And then I was like, ooh, do I have room for this plate thing? And I'm like, no, this is a tiny house. What do you think you have room for? Uh, so we're just adding a couple other pieces of clutter. I think this is the only of the tiny houses that has a microwave. So you're out of luck if you're in the other ones. Of course, you could probably make room in the kitchen for them. You don't need all the clutter. You could put a microwave in your house if you want to. Uh, if you guys would like to download this house, by the way, it is available on the gallery if you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey. Uh, that will also be in the description down below. I mean, I realize this house, this is three houses. If you'd like to download this lot, that's where it will be available. But as you can see, this one has a different layout to the other two as well. It's facing this wall instead of the wall with the window on it. And it's very blue. <laughs> it's so blue. And I believe we kept this rug. I, I wasn't sure about it at first, but I think we kept this rug that came with a Get Famous. That's kind of a retro looking rug, but it came in the exact swatch that I would want. It came in that blue with the black and it just looks so cute. I really like it. And then in this room or in this whole tiny house as well, I have a lot of string lights. I believe I used the ones from, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Excuse you, little lady. That That is my bunny if you heard those loud noises. She has toddler stacking cups um, and she likes to throw them randomly. So that's happening. I I'll be right back when she stops doing that. Couldn't quite get through a full voiceover without noise happening. Hopefully that'll be a thing of the past once I move because she'll no longer be in my recording space, but I can't be mad at her because she's so cute. And have you ever seen a bunny throw a bowl? It's just like the cutest thing in the entire world. But anyway, <laughs> we completely skipped over those toddler lights that we put in here from the toddler stuff pack. I just raised them up through the walls and I think they look pretty cute. There's a lot of lights in this house. It's a very different vibe than I typically go for, but I was trying to make the, all of the houses a little bit different. So hopefully you like it. Plus they came in a blue swatch and the whole theme of this house was blue. So I had to do it <laughs> and I have a love for blue. So it was fun to do, but I also always use navy blue. So it was good to use like more of like teals and like bright blues in this house. So that was refreshing <laughs> and I, I like doing different things sometimes. So this was definitely a fun build to do with the three different houses that are like the same, but different in different colors. So thanks again for that suggestion. Oh my gosh, she just picked up a cup. She better not throw it. You better not throw it, little girl. Okay, she's drinking water. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the interruptions, but like that's life and I can't really do much about it. But uh, we're just adding some benches outside to all of these balconies or they're not balconies, little porches. And I thought about adding that uh, dog stuff like I mentioned. I think we're just adding some more landscaping. I'm pretty sure that's all we're doing for the rest of this build. And that this, there's something I did I forgot about. 
but I don't think there is. I think it's just landscaping. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did like this video. Uh, if you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, you should totally click that little subscribe button. I'd love to have you join our little family. And if you click that little bell next to the subscribe button, it'll turn on notifications. So be notified of every single time I upload a video so you won't miss out on anything. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you'd like to download this, the info is in the description down below, like I mentioned before. And I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, everybody.